What's up, my boys? Today we are flying the world's best business class. It's the Qatar Airways business class. Q suites. What we are flying in today is the flying double bed. We are going to show the full trip in detail all the way from boarding in a half an hour to arriving in Changi Airport in Singapore. Yeah. What are you excited for the most if you have to be, you know, specific? Oh, so on this leg I'm just most excited to get spoiled, but on the next leg from Doha to Singapore I'm very excited about the double bit. But Amelia, I thought it was a double bit all the way, no. but it isn't. Uh, we purposely picked the row number two because it's only every second row where you get the actual flying double bed. We wanted to have both seats because that way we can show you guys that um, there is a difference and what the difference is. How happy are you, Amelia? <laughs> I am super happy. <laughs> I'm gonna have every sip of every beverage on the menu. See my bad. It's good egg here. Um to have. I'm not mad. I'm extremely disappointed. <laughs> So what we thought was the Q suites as we booked turned out to be the very very old 222 configuration. I know a lot of people they feel that you can't be dissatisfied because you're flying business class and in many ways it's true but it is a disappointment when you called Qatar Airways just a few days ago to verify that these were the seats you were given we planned the whole video here based on those seats and now we have the oldest configuration of the business class. Oh, I made this champagne. <laughs> the champagne helps. Breakfast has been served. Is it good? This is a salmon slider. And even though these sliders are quite simple, it's not like there's anything fancy in them. They're just like super good, much better than you expect them to be when you are in 12 kilometers altitude. What about the fries? They're good, really good, with ketchup. Look. Really? Yeah. Are they actually good? Mm -hmm. uh, they look a bit um, dull. Well, they are soft, but I like my fries that way. There is just something about being able to take a shower between your flights. It's absolutely amazing. This is the Al Mujan lounge, the business class lounge. And uh, we've been here quite a number of times and I always enjoy it because it's giant. You never feel trapped. I don't know what it is with business class, but it is probably the most hedonistic experience, at least for us, because we just go overload in everything. Like today I've had a glass, well, several glasses of, of champagne, white wine, red wine, port wine, beer, gin and tonic. Mm. Is it good? Do you think we're gonna get the Q suite? <laughs> we better get the Q suite, otherwise I don't know what to call this video. Uh, we see that one E and one F and that is where you get the double bed configuration. As long as we get the Q-suite um, now, and I, bet we I will. forgive you, Qatar. <laughs> I forgive you. Thank you. 
moment of truth. Nick, I'm next to her. Next to her, yeah. It might be one fox <laughs> road. Okay. Thank you. Amelia? <laughs> it was the right one. We did it. John, <laughs> where are you? Hello. Oops. <laughs> Are you in there? Oh, okay. oh. Are you in Hello. there? Hi. <laughs> Can you push it down? No. <laughs> Takes more than pushing you. We did it. We are in the queues. <laughs> I feel accomplished in life. And yeah. um, this is literally like sitting at a first class. It's. I have never been on a first class. Yeah, I actually have, but not flying. We've sat in first class, but we've never flown in. So, after we have had our dinner and some more drinks and whatever we need in life on board on this flight, the crew will come and they will push this down and they will put a middle part here and then Jon and I will have a double bed. Let's look at all the nice things you get on board on this okay. suite. You get a hot or a cold towel. Then you also get some fresh beverages. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Amelia. Champagne. Jonas on champagne. For the grown-ups. You also get the famous Qatar business kit with sexy socks, as the Geller, Gallagher band would say. That's a what? Liam Gallagher. You want to see sexy socks? You got sex. Get on this. Go on, get ready for the reveal. Ready? Bring it. On, you ready? Bring it. I heard sexy uh -oh. socks. Oh okay. my god, those, those? They are pretty fucking cool. Submarine. You want to see mine? Sexy. Come on, bring it. Get ready for it. Oh, jeez. Where's Wally, Where's bro? Wally? No, he's in the middle of a Christmas. He's in a Christmas. Spit it out, kid. <laughs> and then you get all the other nice stuff that we always show. A nice lotion, lip balm. Face mist. Hotel service rafts. Please remember to remove footwear before using the slide. To remind yourself of the safety aspects of this aircraft, please read the safety card, which is. We are taking off facing backwards. It's like riding a train, but a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually getting pushed. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but it feels so freaking strange. Can you feel it? <laughs> All the way to the top. <laughs> Elegance, a hint of dirt, and still sincere complexities. It's definitely white. It tastes bloody good. We're flying way too fast because I don't want to arrive anytime soon. Um, and it's funny, you know, because most people, they, they, they always say that when you fly business class, like, you don't want it to end. Why don't you just want to get to the destination? Because, I mean, I'm sure your home is much better than this. But there's just something about being in the air, flying to new adventures new experiences and there's something about that that I love and that's why the adventures can wait. <laughs> the main reason why it's so nice to be on business class that you just want to stay is because you don't feel guilty for doing nothing because it's a part of what you are doing so you don't feel like you have to do anything you can just drink and eat and sleep and watch movies and also, we don't fly business class normally. So we've been looking forward to this for the last six months. And um, yeah, that makes it even more special. I actually want to add a comment to this table setting because it's super cute with the purple glass that is actual glass and the cutlery and silver. And then this little candle. And then you have this cute little bread basket here. And it's just made so nice. It's like three different breads. Siamese, in one. Siamese twins. Yeah. Well, not with the same father though. <laughs> uh oh. 
That is beautiful. What is that? Laksa. Mm. Oh. Thank you. But this is what I love about business, you know. You, it's just like a restaurant, you know. It's real cutlery and uh, Real plates. everything. Should I try and see if the taste is like a restaurant? Mm -hmm. Muito bom. I mean, we have to be criti critical. Of well, I will when there is something not good turning up. But this is really, really delicious. It just needs a little bit more spiciness. I think so far already there is a significant uh, difference in the presentation of the food, the quality of the food, uh, as opposed to the first leg of our flight. This is really, really high level, like the soup you just had, Amelia. That was amazing. It's main course uh, time. Yeah. I'm having ostopuku and I can't wait to taste it. It's so tender. Look at this. It's definitely well done. A little dry. Normally it's super juicy with a lot of sauce, at least in Denmark. But it's still like, it's still, it's still really good. The flavors are good, it's just a little dry. I was very excited to try. The, the, the garlic uh, shrimps here. I have never tried this uh, in an airplane before. It tastes like it's just caught. Very, very impressed with this. I want to so, take down the wall, Berlin style. Yeah, I'll just keep this one. <laughs> hey, 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 that's too much. So this is the filler uh, between the seat. Uh oh, it's getting real comfy in here. You have never done this for me, on ever. Well, because <laughs> I believe in, 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 in women's power to... to <laughs> <laughs> they say nothing is more comfortable than a hard rock t-shirt, but uh, I'm gonna try out the PJ that you get for free. You can take it home afterwards. And uh, it even comes with slippers. So you might go to the toilet to change uh, to his PJ, but I don't have to because when you are here, you have all the privacy that you need to. You can even change here if that's what you feel like. So I guess I'm just gonna do it that way. So here it is, a nice soft cotton PJ. Knock knock. Come on in. Anybody home? Come on. It's bedtime at the Q Suite. One, two, three, go. You have to hold it in. No. Hold it in. No. <laughs> Mine is too slow. Oh, there's a pillow. There is a pillow. <laughs> Only problem is that there, we have this in the way, so we can't fully snuggle, Amelia. Oh my God. How Oh, we are sleeping in the flying double bed. Can you imagine what humanity made? <laughs> yes. Okay, it's love time. Hi. Good morning, guys. Look who is sleeping. That is Sleeping Beauty over here. We are two hours away from Singapore and it's breakfast time for those who want to wake up. Wake up, aren't you hungry? Huh? Hi, hello. I must say that waking up next to each other in 11 kilometers and 800 meters altitude is quite unique, right? No, no. <laughs> So there is one thing that I like to do in the morning when I am waking up and that is either listening to nice music or listening to a good podcast. These are Dina and as you might know we are ambassadors for Dina and that's not just because they give us products, that's actually because we love their products. The sound is good, they are super light and they are just so user friendly that even I can use them and I usually can't connect Bluetooth to anything. Good morning, princess. <sighs> Sorry for the grumpiness. 
but uh, I really needed that sleep and I think that is honestly the biggest uh, perk of flying business that you can sleep the entire trip but um, it's a new day we're almost in Singapore we're landing in five ten minutes the experience is close to over Amelia yeah what are we gonna do about it? well since we're heading towards Bali now I don't mind because Bali is like business on earth so <laughs> If I had to say something that could be better about the Q-Suite, I think storage here is not very um, great. Also the light, lighting here, like we have our own light, but without it, it's pitch dark and, and you can't really light it all up. When So when you're eating, it's basically dark. So I think this would more be like an add-on that would make the experience even better if you could adjust the temperature in your own cabin. Oh yeah, exactly. Because it does actually get quite hot in the front of the plane at least, I don't know. In, but it, it was quite hot um, during the evening now. Get, 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 get me. Sweet. Hey, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was fast. A flying business. Your luggage comes first. So, guys, that was it from this. Life. We are catching the next one and uh, we got two hours of mail here. Yeah, Let's we'll go. see you on Bali guys. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Bye.